Configuration files in Godot are something really easy to implement, but not that many people know about. So in this video, I'll show you how to implement configuration files into your Godot project. To get started with configuration files in Godot, you first need a scene to use your configuration files with. I have a control node titled CFG files. It has a script on it. I have a line edit titled player name edit, a save button, and a spin box. This save button has its pressed signal hooked up to the CFG files script. The first thing you need to do is instance a new config file class. So to do this, you just type in var config is equal to config file dot new. This will just simply instance a new config file class and it has all the functions and variables we need for doing this. And then you want to set the values within the config file. To do this, you just type in config dot set value, the section, the key, and then the value. The section is where it is at within the config file. The key is what it will be called within the configuration file. And the value is what the well value is set to. You can do this with strings, floats, integers, and even arrays, so it's pretty versatile, and you can use it for just about all data type in Godot. And then you need to save your config file. To do this, you just type in config.save, and then the path, so in my case, it will be user colon slash slash data dot cfg. This user folder is a folder that Godot recognizes on every operating system, so it is OS independent. And then to load your config file, you want to go to your ready function or whatever function you are loading it you want to instance a new config file class so var config is equal to config file dot new you want to create a new file class so var f is equal to file dot new and then you want to check if the path to the config file exists and if it does then we need to say config dot load and then the path to your config file so user colon slash slash data dot cfg and then you can set your values so in my case it will be player name edit dot text is equal to config dot get value player and then player name so so we're getting the section and then we're getting the key and then I will do that with the spin box as well and I am also setting my items array to config.getValue player and then items. This items is a thing I am setting in the config file as well. And then it is also good practice to close out your file so f.close. Alright if you found this video informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe it helps our channel helps get content like this wreck my others. That is all for me for now. Funnyber out.